Okay, we're on another chapter of the uh, hacks I've been doing for my Mac Mini uh, G4 Cube project. And right now I have an external USB and FireWire enclosure that has the 750 gig Fire or SATA drive in it. And I wanted to borrow more power out of this adapter. So they don't have SATA extension cables. I also wanted to move the drive away from the adapter. So I actually kind of had to make one. I have this... Uh, male-to-male -male SATA adapter, a regular SATA cable, and then this power adapter, which is actually SATA to uh, SATA and here a Molex splitter. So it goes from SATA to two Molex cables. Those two Molex cables are down here, and they are powering this either violet or ultraviolet light and this fan, and hopefully it works. So... If I get electrocuted now, please post this on YouTube for posterity. Ah, oh, look at that. Fans, oh, blows that way. Fan is working. Uh, the violet lights. Those are either violet or ultraviolet. They're much brighter in the camera than they are in person. So let's see if the drive works. Please don't break my Mac. Please don't. Plugged in, and no, not yet. Oh, there it is, 750 gig drive. Check that out. So uh, that all works as expected. That'll be connected over FireWire internally to the Mac, and the uh, back USB ports down there will just function as power to other devices or as a USB hub, depending on if this thing runs as a hub when in FireWire mode or not. As far as this custom connector is, I'm just going to put some hot glue on that and let it settle, and uh, then it should be one solid connection.